air masses. So this is the technical term for blobs and everything I've been calling blobs so far. But these are called air masses. And so they're just kind of big blobs of air that have similar properties and they kind of blob together. And that's why I'm calling them blobs. So there are four primary kinds of blobs, especially that affect the United States, but there are other blobs as well. So the blobs depend on, they need to have similar temperature and similar humidity, similar kind of moisture. And the names have to do with where they formed. So first blob, maritime tropical. So tropical means it's going to deal, have warm air. So anytime you hear something tropical, think warm. Tropical, paradise, nice palm trees. Tropical is warm. Maritime is a really cool word, which means things to do with the ocean, things to do with water. So maritime tropical means it's a blob of air that's over warm water. There we go. And so this tends to be more humid, warm. And this is when we actually get like kind of warm rain here in Southern California. That's because there's been a blob of maritime tropical air that's coming and affecting us. So maritime tropical is wet and warm. The opposite then is maritime polar. So maritime polar also forms over the water, it's maritime, but it's polar instead. And so that means it's cold. So this is when we get cold, wet rain. And so that's that big blob of cold air that sits off the coast of Alaska. So it's over the water and it's cold. So maritime polar, maritime tropical, they don't mix because one's cold, one's warm. They kind of just sit there next to each other, but they both of them have a lot of moisture in them. So those are the two kinds of maritime air masses. There also are air masses that form over land. The ones that form over land have, instead of having maritime, they have continental in their name. So as you can predict, continental tropical means it forms over land and it's warm. So that's over the Sahara Desert, over the, the Southwest where we live. If you go kind of more inland, you go to Palm Springs, it's hot and dry. That's a continental tropical air mass. Hot and dry is continental tropical. And then the final one, continental polar, this is the cold, dry air. This is what Canada lives. Canada is cold and dry, and occasionally they have the storms come through, but cold, dry air. And when we have really, really cold weather, or when it's, you hear it snowing in Texas, that's usually because this continental polar air has pushed all the way down to the United States. So those are your four kinds of air masses, continental polar, continental tropical, maritime polar, and maritime tropical. So